So hey guys and welcome back to another episode video. So today this is a tutorial video on real flight simulator aka RFS on how to make a livery on Android. So a lot of people has been uh, problematic with this uh, problem. They don't know how to actually make a livery on Android devices because it's usually mainly to iOS and also PC. So today I will be showing you guys how to actually make the livery on an Android. So first of all that you must do is to purchase the RFS Pro because you will need an active RFS Pro account to upload an livery. Then So basically you just follow up the instruction you see right here. You must first go to realflightsimulator.org slash liveries to download your livery template and then follow up my way. And now that we are at realflightsimulator.org slash liveries, what you're gonna have to do is to download whatever the plane you want to make the livery of. So I'm gonna choose 737-200. There you go 737 200 and then you're gonna click on download so basically after you after you have downloaded the file you must make sure that you have extracted the zip file and then you have this inside the file 737 200 livery template v1 you're gonna have this thing you see psd file this psd file right here so we're gonna have to edit that file so go back to google click photo p and now we have to go to photo p and by uh, and right here it's gonna ask you if you want to add to your home screen or something usually i will recommend adding to your home screen but you can also continue by the web so what you're gonna do so what you're gonna do here is to click on file and click open and go to the file that i said earlier about 737 So you must click on this this file right here 77 200 livery template and you have to wait for a couple of time for it to load okay so basically once it has loaded click on layers turn off all the livery and we're gonna save this template first this is where it's gonna get a bit complicated click on file click export as png once this has loaded make sure the quality is up to 100% click save and it will start downloading step 2 you're gonna have final livery on and turn off anything else like this click on file click save as i mean export as png once again repeat the same step click save now next step you're gonna have to do is to open any drawing app but i recommend ibis paint x Okay, so basically you load and upload both of the picture you have saved and downloaded to the canvas. Make sure the size of the canvas is still 4096. Keep it original. And as you remember, I have two type of uh, live, uh, 
pictures that I told you guys to save and download. One is this one that you see as a picture of here. This is going to be your reference image. And second is the one that you see down here. That is just a small dot. Hold on. As you can see, this is a sm small dot. This is from the template named final underscore livery. Do not remove or try to cover up the black dot. If you try to cover up or close the black dot, remove the black dot or something like that, um, the picture uploading will have an error and you will not be able to upload the livery. So what you're gonna do here is open the reference uh, of an open layers what you're gonna do here is open layers so rename the livery that has the small black dot as don't remove and open the reference layer back and make the reference layer a bit lower in opacity And now, and now you can click a new, make a new, you can now make a new layer and you can now start doing any deliveries that you want. Okay, so basically this is my already finished Air Florida livery that I've worked on. So basically what you're gonna have to do here now is to close the reference livery. Make sure it is closed and you're gonna have this blank image of your livery also make sure the black dots is still existence as you can see make sure they are transparent image like this and save as transparent png Now open the livery of the uh, now open the plane of the livery you have made. Click on create livery. Click on import and import the picture of the livery that have you done. That is the livery that I have done. Make sure it is transparent. Click on that. Now you have to wait for it to load. And now it yeah, has loaded. This is the delivery of the plane that I have made. Uh, Florida. You can make your own. You can make any airlines you want to make. Now what you're gonna have to do here is to do some checklist. Make sure they are good from every perspective. You have to check. I have already checked, so it's nothing for me to worry about. And now you're gonna have to click on upload. Okay, so right here, livery type. You're gonna see livery type. Real is only for the real is only for liveries that exist in real life. So basically, liveries that exist on the plane is gonna be real. If you're making an, if you are making airline livery that does not exist on seven three seven, but it does exist on other airlines aligners uh, it's gonna be virtual or maybe if you are making just any random your own airline or something something about your own airline something that doesn't exist in real life you can click on virtual mine is a florida and it does exist on the 737 200 so i'm gonna type this livery name as air florida click ok and it's gonna be real and click on upload and they will start uploading and after it has done uploading you will have to wait for a few days a couple of days for Rotos to verify your livery and once it has been verified your livery will be on the airline and you are able to equip it and that's how you do it delivery on android devices so i guess that's all for today's video Feel free to subscribe or like, blah, 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 and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.